Konnichiwa Ninjas, it's me, Ninja Lens, and today I wanted to do a little more of a serious video regarding something that recently happened, and I've been seeing it everywhere. And it got, and usually I don't like to talk about news that, I don't like talking about news very much at all, and I specific, I especially don't like talking about sad news. However, I think this time it's gotten an emotion from me it's evoked an emotion from me and it has gotten me to think about a lot of different things and so i decided to do a video about it i don't think i don't really want to bring up the exact situation as i'm not connected to it specifically um it, 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 it i will bring it up a few times just so that people know what i'm talking about but recently a celebrity um that a lot of my friends are very involved with. Uh, she was even a smasher too, apparently. I didn't know anything about her. Was in the middle of a performance, gunned down by someone just in the audience. Uh, all I know right now is that, I, I, I'm not here to report the news, but what I know is that it was some guy who didn't sit, really know her. And I, I don't really want to talk about, and of course, when anybody ever, when any violence happens, specifically with a gun in America, uh, the, the debates on gun violence and mental health get brought up. I'm not very interested in talking about that because I think that's covered very well. I, I was brought more to thoughts of, I was brought, I was reminded more of thoughts of I that I had been dealing with, I've been dealing with for the past three years. So, uh, before my dad died, I. I would. I was dealing with depression. Uh, I. I was. I had gone. I had been. It was a rough transition from high school to college, and I was dealing with a lot of depression. And one person that I, I reached out. I don't want to say reached out to, but a person who helped me get through this was Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. And I think I just. I, I had discovered him years ago for, through his Francis videos. However, he talks about depression and anxiety and all kinds of things that I can relate to in his boogie, just boogie videos, especially his older videos. And one video that I, I can't remember the first time I watched it for the life of me, but it stuck with me so much. And I, I remember I watched it many times after my father passed. I watched a lot of his videos after my father passed away. Uh, and when he... It was the, in the video I'm going to link because I'm going to be essentially, for the most of this video, I'm just going to be reiterating a lot of the points that he made in this video. And it's it's the, his last day on earth, my last day on earth. And I think I might even title this video, my last day on earth, because I don't want this to be just, I have something to say about this terrible tragedy that happened to this person that I don't really know. I, 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 I was brought to thinking about something here. I've been. I, I thought about it a lot before my dad died. I thought about it a lot after my dad died, and I thought about it specifically after I was almost shot at Target. Uh, you see, I, I've done a bunch of videos about it, and I'm I'm sure some people, if some people might think I'm self-aggrandizing, making it all about myself. But when I was working at Target, I was almost shot. Uh, somebody's gun accidentally went off, and I have no idea who the guy was. But the and the police found the bullet where the bullet had made its first impact and where the bullet ricochet where its ricochet impact was and it was right next to me and i i was i was my mind was rather blown by this and it got me thinking about this very specific topic again and now this has got me to think about the kind of i kind of think that n seeing all of people's reactions to what happened here I kind of think that maybe I should share my interpretation of this philosophy of Boogie. You see, he I, I'm going to lead off this little tangent. This is going to be quite a long video. I don't think it's going to be that long. But he led it off by saying, what would you do if you knew 24 hours from now you are going to die? And there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. And then he would go on to say, what if you had a week left? What if you had a month left? What if you had a year left? You people will probably think of a bunch of different things that they would do. Maybe they would go on that one vacation that they've been planning to do for years. And they're like, oh, I'll do it once I get this amount of money. Once I'm secure for life, I'll go on this vacation with my wife or something like that. Well, um, I, how do you know you have a single day left on Earth? And I guess maybe this is 
it might seem like I'm trying to terrify people. Um, but I, I, I honestly don't. And I don't want people to get into the YOLO mindset. Oh, you, I might be dead tomorrow, so I might as well live it up, get drunk and do drugs and hurt myself. I, I think about it differently. I've kind of come to terms with the idea that I'm not guaranteed tomorrow. I'm not guaranteed next week. Uh, I, I have a, due to my, due to my personal, where I live and how, what the chance and like my health, chances are I'm not going to die tomorrow. There's no guarantee I'll live through tomorrow, but chances are I'm not going to die tomorrow. I'm not in that bad of health. Uh, I may not be guaranteed another few years due to my weight. Who knows? So instead of, instead of, and a lot of people choose to live in fear. I must be safe. I must be safe. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Well, you can't guarantee that you're not going to die. Uh, we don't, I, I, I have no idea whether or not uh, this woman believed that that was her last day on earth. And I think personally, I try and think, I, I personally, I think about this often when I'm driving, when somebody when I accidentally cut somebody off or if I accidentally mistake, make a mistake in driving and I make someone very angry, it, a thought crosses through my mind. What if they gun me down right there? What if my life ended? I, maybe I'm just a morbid thinker. What if, what if I get into an accident? What if a brick falls through my window? What if I'm dead before I get to my place, this place that I'm trying to go? It's a morbid thought, of course. However, I like to think that I have done, I am not, I'm, I wouldn't be happy to die tomorrow. No, I'd be very unhappy. There are many things that I wish that I could do and I don't think I could do. The big thing is that I do not believe that I could accomplish the things that I want to with my life in a day. One of the main things I want to do is I want to produce a web series. I've been writing it for years. Maybe you guys didn't know about this, but I mean, I make YouTube videos. Of course, I want to make a web series. Of course, I want. I also want to make a movie, and I also want to make um, either a big budget web series or a television series. These are my goals. I want to entertain, and I try and strive every day not to put off and say, "Oh, I'll, once I get this." fancier webcam because I, I could have said oh once I get a 1080p webcam or once I get a camera that isn't garbage or once I get a DSLR or once I get a new microphone I'll start making videos uh, that that's not that's not a good idea I think you should always and it's this is also a compilation of a bunch of other serious bookie videos he talks about always working towards your goals always working towards your goals and it's not wasted day try and move forward try and move forward this is very rambly. I know. I'm. I. I'm. I've been training myself very hard over the past few years to try and become a better speaker, and it's evident to me that I will never be as great, uh, as good of a. I, I'm not. I'm not. Not never going to be. I never believe that it's never. But I don't believe that I'm currently anywhere near the level of speaker that Boogie is. And I think if you if you want to get these ideas in a better way, I'd recommend clicking the link in the description to go to the videos or one of the links here. I'll, I'll link to the playlist of his serious videos. Some of my favorite videos are in that playlist and I don't know why he unlisted it from his channel and somebody else had to create it for him, but I, I, I digress. <laughs> but I, I try and I think to myself, well, I want to make something. And if I were to die, I'd be if I could feel, I don't know exactly, we don't know what it's like to die, nobody knows, but if I were to die, I would have, my regrets would be that I didn't make the web series, I didn't make, uh, I didn't make this great video I'm working on right now, uh, I didn't, I didn't make this one more video, and so I always strive to make one more video, these videos are my passion, maybe they're not my career, maybe they will never be my career, but they will always be my, well, you can't always count for that, but they are currently my passion. And I, I will work on these videos, and I will try and create them, and I will put them into the world. If I were to die, at least I made the last video I made. At least I made this video. Um, that's why I, sometimes I'm like, ah, this video is garbage. I, maybe I should just wait a couple weeks until I can write an entire script for this. But I want to put this into the world. Maybe I can reformat this. Maybe I can redo it in a way that's not th like this. I've put this into the world. And the woman who died, she was a singer. 
she put a lot of great stuff into this world and we will always be able to look at it maybe she didn't live her life as if she you didn't you didn't know if you had a guarantee for tomorrow but she did she put something more into the world than a lot of people seem to so i implore you don't uh you don't op i don't i don't think of this as the philosophy of you only live once it's you aren't guaranteed tomorrow and i don't think it's like oh n there is no tomorrow or something like that I, I think it's very different from the there is no tomorrow philosophy which is very similar to the yolo philosophy of do uh live in the moment and indulge in the simple pleasures of indulge in the pleasures of life like the the base pleasures uh do things that are reckless and bad a bad idea but i think of work on your goals try and do something so that you don't try and make try and live with little regrets perhaps i'm not I, i'm not a great orator i i i i have to do this i guess this this is a practice for me and so today i worked on this and i just remind you that there's nothing drawing a line. I guess maybe it is a terrifying idea for famous people, uh, which maybe I'm lucky I'm not a part of. Maybe I'm a little unhappy that I'm not a part of. That's okay. Uh, but I, you, do, there's no, there's no like minimum requirement to be to have your life cut short by some random person. I wasn't, I wasn't exempt. It was totally, it was totally possible that I could have died that day, but I didn't. And I, le I learned to see my regrets. And I hope maybe through this video, I can get you to see your regrets. What would you regret if you were to die tomorrow? What would you, if you were, to, it's different from what would you regret if you were to die today? Because if you were to die tomorrow, there were, th there are going to be things that you will never accomplish. Because, and, and you'll have 24 hours to think about it. If I was to die tomorrow and there's nothing I could do to stop it, I would never get to produce my web series. It's sad. It's painful. But 24 hours isn't enough to do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll write the script and give it to somebody. Maybe, who knows what will happen. But I want to remind people, you're not guaranteed tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the best. I'm not the best orator. But I thought maybe... And I I'd highly recommend you watch Boogie's video, which is much more concise, much more thought out. And his entire playlist, honestly, especially if you're feeling down. So, I just, <laughs> I don't know how to concise this, but I think maybe you should just try and work on your goals. I mean, if today was your last day, what did you waste it doing? If uh, today was, if this was your last week, what did you waste, the, if the last week was your last week, what did you waste it doing? If this was your last year on this earth, what did you waste it doing? And could you live with that? All right. I must return to the shadows of the internet. But on the flash of the camera, I will return to the light. Ninja out!